Hello friends, this is Cold Run back with Dragon Age Inquisition. We are here in the Jaws of Hakan DLC, Jaws of Hakan DLC, uh, in Frostback Basin, where we last time we found this new campsite, we also killed a legendary frost giant, because that's how badass we are. And this time, um, the big plot thing is to get to uh, of our allies. Um, I think where we're supposed to make contact with one of the of our leaders, try to find a boat to get to some mystical super isle. Um, but first, there's all this stuff that opened up around the new camp I discovered. So let's start with just a fate rift. All right, now we're going to head to this. Worthy of public... Where's the last fate rift? Oh, up there. Worthy of publication, Kenrick's research assistant Colette left to survey to Vinter Ruins. Her findings could offer historical insight into the basin's past. Let's go find her or her corpse. 50-50 shot on whether she's dead. All right, so we're going over the mountains and through the swamp cold Dotton to Colette's ah, body we go. There's no telling what trouble we'll find down here. Yeah, there's three troubles. Oh, lurkers. Over there. We must do something. Where is she? Oh, I don't want her to die if I can help it. Beep beep. Where is she? Oh. Still standing. That's. Oh. Yeah, you fought the three raptors. Nice job, Colette. Who says academics aren't badass? Inquisitor. Still finding it difficult to breathe, but I'm not strewn across the landscape, so thank you. I mean, take your time. I'm Colette, Professor Kenrick's research assistant. I was hoping to conduct a survey of a Tavinter ruin in the hills. I may not have chosen the best route. Through the lurker ridden swamp? Probably not. You're Kenrick's research assistant, so that makes you a student at the University of Orlais. It does? Why? Orlesian institutions aren't always accepting of elves. We can't all run inquisitions, but I imagine you've caught whispers behind your back, too. The university accepts those worthy of admission, though elven students are few. How did you find it there? It's not easy, but this is what I want, and I like working for Professor Kenrick. Elven research students, where publications concerned, their work's often deemed not substantial enough for formal credit. Ah, uh, yeah, but I Kenrick can imagine. But cares about people who want to learn. If our research finds an audience, I know my name will be included. He sounds like a pretty good guy. What were you hoping to find at the ruin? The Tevinter's time here was brief, but their architecture endured, offering shelter, forming landmarks. Ancient Avar would have encountered these structures, which certainly predate Inquisitor Emeridan. Evaluating the ruins could offer insight into the region's history, once I can get set up. You're still going there? I've read everything we have on Ameridan, and studied up on new excavation techniques. I won't waste this opportunity. If you've a map, I can show you my destination, if you'd be interested in the findings. I'd be interested if you can help me find the science of what this fucking thing is that's hanging off the left side of my head. I will award you the Nobel Prize of the Inquisition. Stay safe. I will. Hey, Colette at the Deventer Ruins. Where is that? There. All right, so first we're going to find this landmark. Because there's a landmark. So what is this? It's like a an altar with a dragon's skull at the top and a bunch of corpses at the bottom. Bloodstained Shrine. We took to steps to avoid the Hakonites and stayed out of their way for the most part. It would have gone uneventfully had Price's inexperience not caused him to leave visible prints in the dirt. The Jaws of Hakon used them to track us, and even Falker cannot throw them off the trail. Persistent bastards. We ended up hiding amidst the moldy corpses and sun-bleached bones that littered the ground around a strange shrine. It was carved of stone and capped with what looked to be a dragon skull. 
Thankfully, when the Hakonites traced us to the shrine, it made them, the sight of it made them stop short. They whispered amongst themselves, and their leader seemed to make a small bow of obese obeisance to that skull. They then abandoned the chase. So this is feeding into my theory that Hakon is a dragon, or was a dragon. We still don't know what it was about the shrine that made the Hakonites balk. Perhaps we don't want to know. From report sent to Scout Harding. So now we have a couple of choice. Yeah, I, I really do think it's a shit that Hakon is a dragon. Let's follow up on this particular quest first, on the uh, Colette quest. So just wending our way out of the swamp to the Varstoughton River, we have more of these. Looks like a kissy type of old ancient Cthulhu god. How can they warriors? Hello, friends. Look at that heal. That heal is amazing. Aha, uh -huh. so we're trying to get... I see the ruins up there. So how do we get to them? Yeah, this looks like the way to reach these ruins, maybe? No, I thought there was a tunnel through there. Or there would be a tunnel through there. What's this? Uh-uh, not happening. What's not happening? We need to try something else. I don't know what even that was even supposed to do is the thing. Like try something else to do what? Hmm. Maybe something else to get into those ruins? Let's go down a little bit. It looks like we can actually jump into the ruins down below here. Yeah, discovered cliffside path. There we go. It's no good. What's no good? What are you expecting to happen? Shame, Sarah, that you were denied an elven life. <clears throat> Even one as patchwork as the Dalish interpretation. Oh, thanks. She said I was. Were you not orphaned young and raised by humans? Oh, you think the only reason I'm not Elfie is because I had no choice? Poor me, right? Well, I've seen, I know, elven life is backwards and boring. It is said that we lived at a pace that sustained us for ages. Well, you go sustain yourself. It sure doesn't sound like living. Yeah, she seems to want a faster pace. So let's see if we can find any particular purchase along this path here. Where are we actually going? Okay. I'm not optimistic. We may need to come back here. Jump! Oh, shit. We're just going back into the swamp, aren't we? Okay. Alright, we'll come back to this later then. Oh, fucking God, one of these things. Okay. All right, all right, all right. At least there's a cave in here, so maybe... Barred from the other side? Okay, Dark Souls. So I'm going to guess I don't have to worry about that cave just yet, that it's something I access, like I open up and then I use the, the thing inside it. The uh, veil fire inside it, so I'm not going to do like a large hunt with veil fire right now. I assume it's going to be in the cave. All right, so we're getting to some higher ground here. The swamp is a really low part of the zone, so maybe that's just it. Charge! Keep charging! Abandoned jail? What the hell? Okay. 
That must be below. That must be um, the thing I break out of. This question mark, though, what is this? Another of these friggin' things. Probably, nope, no good. Doesn't work. It's no good. Yeah, but no good at doing what? Locked door, locked door, abandoned jail. Hmm. Okay, can we keep going to the east? Tusk, we didn't sacrifice a tusk at this episode. That's why we're having so much trouble. <clears throat> There we go. The elven gods are pleased. Okay, what's going on now? Let's keep going up, I think. Discover the fortress gates. Is this a Tevinter fortress? Are we going to get into the other Fade Rift over here? Hmm. Ah, it's an Astrarium that's over here. Okay. Clefside path continues. Let's do the Astrarium. This has got to be just a mountain, right? Okay. Let's just start doing. Okay, there to there. There, there. No, that's gonna get us stuck. I think we're already we're already lost. There, there. 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 There, there. Yeah, we're fucked. They're there, and we haven't done that to that. Yeah, this, is gonna, this may take a little while. Okay, try that to that. No, this isn't gonna. This isn't gonna do it. Cause I'm still. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna get back to there. So let's start with the thing that was the problem then. There, there. There. There, and we're already dead. Let's try weaving through the middle, as much as I can. There. There. There, 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 there. There, there, there. There, and I'm fucked. I'm not fucked. I did it. Mountain, mountain, mountain. Yeah, it is a mountain. I think this is the first one I've guessed it correctly in like a year. Constellation Bellinus. According to Avar legend, Korth the Mountain Father kept his throne at the peak of the mountain Bellinus, which lay at the center of the world and was so lofty from that from it he could see all corners of the earth and sky. Over time, bold young Avar would challenge each other to scale the mountain of the gods. At first, Korth found this amusing, and he delighted in the valor of their failed attempts to enter his hold. 
Then, oh shit, someone succeeded, didn't they? Then Sindri Skybreaker, boldest of the heroes of old, succeeded in climbing to the summit and stood in the hall of the Mountain Father in the flesh. Korth, being a good sport, gave Sindri a hero's welcome, and the mortal returned to the Frostbacks with tales of the feasts of gods and gifts from Korth, and soon more and more heroes were barging into the hall of the Mountain King, Mountain Father, demanding to be showered with honors. Korth grew weary of throwing banquets, and the other gods began to fear his temper. So Korth spoke to the Lady of the Skies and lifted Bellinus from the earth and into her realm, which could not be reached even by the most intrepid climber, and there he dwells in peace. That's really funny. <laughs> he got so annoyed at being like having to be a host. From a study of Theodosian astronomy by Sister Orin Petrarchius. Okay. So let's see if we can reach this fade rift. I'm kind of doubtful. I'm kind of skeptical, but we'll try. <laughs> or you know what? No, let's take it a little bit slower. Let's see what is going hey, on in this fortress. In this fortress overall. I would have liked your chances better if I had found this before the descent. And if I had found this before I found this friggin' great sword. Right, so there's something on that bridge, like a landmark on the bridge. Get up there, get up. Yeah, I'm up. Okay, I did it somehow. Oh my god. Okay. So is this the answer? Is it just climbing over this bridge? I kind of doubt it. The frozen gate. The gate remains frozen even at the height of summer. A piece of ice chiseled from the hole remained unmelted in a bucket of warm water, even withstanding the heat of burning embers. I have never seen such magic. Our Avar guide Ragnar will would tell will tell me of nothing what will tell me nothing of what lies beyond the frozen wall. I have exhausted all possibilities and shall have to accept that I will never pass beyond that gate. I've retained the piece of ice for my own use. Its properties make it perfect for chilling my sight on hot days. I shall take pleasure in this and try not to fixate on my unsated curiosity. From the travels, journals of Sir Nigel, Explorer and Knight. I mean, ice that doesn't melt, but that cools everything around it. That's kind of sweet. So I see the rift up there. <coughs> yeah, so the rift is up here. This will be the third of these rifts in the basin. All right. And just nothing too special about these demons. They're just regular rage and fear demons and all the other normal, normal sort of stuff. Where's the loot, though? Oh, it's down there. Anything else up here worth noting? Does not seem like it. Jump. There it is. <laughs> Savage Thorn Dagger, which I will never use. An inscription on this dagger reads, Nothing is more savage than the thorn one does not see. Fair. Yeah, that's probably fair. Phoenix scales from the Phoenix in this game that are not Phoenix. Alright, so can we go to the south and unlock anything? Does this allow us access to that mysterious block door? I don't think so. I think that's way, 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 way down below. Huh. Okay, you know what? We'll come we'll come back here. We're going to head towards Avar allies in this case. Ah. 
I mean, maybe we will. I, let me see if there's anything else up here that's super obvious that's worth looking at. This is the frozen gate. Yeah, this this is the frozen gate with the eternal ice to keep your iced tea cool. There's probably nothing important behind there. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Um, I mean, my best guess in sincerity is that this is probably like where final part of this DLC will wind up, or like one of the deeper parts maybe. But, you know, I don't know. Now we're making progress. So, finally got away from this locked hellish area over there. And we seem to be approaching the Avar Hold. A little abandoned place outside here. And a body and like a graveyard, a boneyard. I was speaking too soon. So how do I actually get there? You know what, screw it, let's go down. What has Up ever done for us? Nothing, that's what. Yeah, this feels more promising. I would heal, but I get the sense this is kind of friendly ter territory. Discovered stone bear hold. Wait for the climb to finish. Oh, a rock climbing competition. Seem tired, thing, son. Here, oh, hunting is your hold beast. Well, we hunt as well as ever, they in Harrison. You would be safer under the shield of the jaws of Hakon. Hask Fisherson has taken victory in sight of the Lady of the Skies. Parv, you owe four rounds to Hask, not three. Ha! Ted as tits. Wind, lift your oaths to the Lady of the Skies and hand the rams over come sunrise. May your people be as strong as your hold beast. So that was their way of settling a dispute about how many rams were owed. Okay, let's talk to Gerda Harrison. This is not my hold, Lowlander. I will not shed your blood here. Thank you. You will face the full might of the jaws of Hakon soon enough. We've heard of your arrival, Lowlanders. Come, share my fire where we might speak. Yeah, you're my kind of person. The kind who doesn't want to murder me. Stone bear hold. You have guest welcome here. The Lowlanders have little love for your Dalish clans. I am impressed that you came to lead their inquisition. I'm quite you something. You and your people have come far from the safety of the Lowlands. Uh, we're not attacking. We have not come to cause trouble in your home, Thane. We have learned that the last Inquisitor may have died here hundreds of years ago. We seek his body. Giving peace to the dead is a worthy quest. Any help we can offer is yours. Sadly, the jaws of Hakon will not offer so warm a welcome. Yeah, I've you seen. have met their Thane, Gerd Harrison. I wager you have crossed blades with the jaws of Hakon in the wilderness. If you would search this place for your Inquisitor's body, they will want you to pay in blood. The boat, we fight. I mean, I kind of already guessed this, but we'll just get cleared up. When I first entered your hold, there was a climbing contest of some sort. It's like a trial was that? for whose side was right. Lady. We use it to settle disputes when it is not clear who has the right of it. There are others. For the test of the Mountain Father, you battle with verse while those who favor you hold you aloft. The test of Hakon is battle with blunted weapons. So fair, it seems reasonable, yeah. It seems as fair a way as any to decide such matters. It's not, but you're In being diplomatic. Cases, the law is clear. The tests are only for real disputes. As Thane, 
I may guide the gods in finding who is worthy. I decide which test will settle the dispute. I may also ask a warrior whose claim is foolish to climb with stones strapped to his back. I'd like to hear more about Stone Bear Hold. We are not the largest hold, but our warriors are strong, and our singers are pretty. Ah, oh, words are for boasting around the fireside. You should look yourself, if you will. My son here? I assume it's because you had yellow hair. How did you get the name Sun Hair? I was born Svara Jaina's daughter. For my legend mark, I once fought a battle with my hair on fire. Oh shit, that's you way more badass. You lit hair on fire? An enemy archer lit my hair on fire. I was locked shield to shield with a foe, and I had no time to douse it. It scared my foes. My hair was braided long enough that I could spare it. Stank worse than goat shit, though. Yeah, I'll bet. I'd like to know more about the jaws of Hakon. They are not the first hold to take that name. All have been foolish. What would you know of them? They're not the first, so it's like a, a mantle almost. What do the jaws of Hakon believe that makes them so angry? A wise man honors each god to its strength. Bjorn Reedbeard for fishing, Rilla of the Fireside for making babies. The Hakonites care only for Hakon Winter's breath, god of war and winter. There is no evil in Hakon. There are times to fight, but the jaws of Hakon care for nothing else. They raid, they fight. Eventually they die and their stories are forgotten. It is the way of things. Yeah, it's not very sustainable. You said that there were earlier groups known as the jaws of Hakon. Yes. Many ages ago, they thought of nothing but slaughter glory. They attacked the Lowlanders. Your people fought back and destroyed them. They were fools. So that's why they are pissed at us. What can you tell me of the people now calling themselves the Jaws of Hakon? They came here a few years ago. After the Blight took their hold. There was land enough for both, so we were friendly. We did not see their anger. Gerd Harrifson lost too many in his hold to Darkspawn. He thought only of battle and war. To avenge a wrong is a good thing. But only a fool lights the world on fire to do it. I'll speak with you later. Okay. Fair hunting. Impress the hold. Ooh, read. Thane Svara Sun Hair. This appears to be an unfinished letter. The handwriting is simple and the text has many phrases crossed out. Lowlanders, if you be brave enough to. Uh, or legions, if you be brave enough. Merchants of Verlay. <laughs> Those who wish to trade with Sun Bear Hold, you should know me. I am Thane Svara Sun. I am Thane Svara Jane Stodden, known as Sun Hair, though my blade has tasted battle tears. This is she's just dully trying to make the most impressive letter. Though my blade has tasted blood many, though I have fought many battles, I wish no conflict between us, but instead trade between our hold and yours. We have furs and leathers that put your lowland hides to shame. Plus weapons that have tasted Hakon's winter. We have furs and leathers that will make your warriors look strong and your lovers supple. Plus weapons. We have excellent furs and leather. This is amazing. And weapons like none is seen in the little ones. Trade honestly and well and there will be coin for all. Cheat us and we are blood. We will... Oh my god, she keeps going. Trade honestly and well there will be coin for all. Thyra, Thane, Svara, Sun here. This is a fool's task. What lowlander would come this far for furs they have not seen? Ah, Korth. I just wrote that instead. Wrote that instead of saying it. The stupid lowland t writing vexes the mind. The rest of the letter is a series of angry sketches of axes. Now look, Sarah and I have had a very good run, and I'm sad that we've broken up. But I already like I get the I get the reasons why she's uncomfortable with the whole elf thing and how heavy I am into it. I immediately want to set Sarah up with Svara Sun here. Like, off the bat, 100%. Um, that said, this is where I will leave it for now. Thank you for watching. Next time, we will try to impress Stone Bear Hold. Have a great day. And if we don't speak beforehand, have a Merry Christmas if that's something you celebrate. Take care.